I did about 30 years in the Marines, caught uh, six different wars. The PTSD and the traumatic brain injury uh, finally caught up with me. And uh, about January of 2013, I sat down in this chair and just stopped. Uh, I didn't get up. I didn't answer the phone. I didn't turn on the TV. I didn't answer the door. Um, I just sat here. I didn't do anything um, and was losing weight pretty quickly. Uh, I was down to less than 150 pounds. When a, uh, a friend of mine who runs a, uh, an organization sent out a survey on PTSD, and I took the survey, and uh, he called me the next day and said, Jim, are you seeing anybody? And I said, no. And he said, well, have you thought about a dog or you know, anything? I said, well, I hadn't really thought about that. So I got online, and I looked, and Canines for Warriors uh, was the organization that, uh, that uh, developed uh, service animals specifically for uh, people with uh, PTSD and traumatic brain injury. Went down there, went to the training. I, I met Freedom. He's a, a rescue dog, so he'd been uh, beaten and abused and starved and thrown into a high kill shelter, and they rescued him out of there. And their motto is, uh, we rescue the dogs, the dogs rescue the, the warriors. But uh, since then, uh, we've been out uh, in public. We're, we're uh, out speaking and, and, and talking to other veterans and, and helping folks. And, and uh, now I'm a, I'm a writer and a and a speaker and, and an advocate for other people. And I'm able to go out in public, like uh, he goes everywhere with me. When we go to the commissary shopping, he's right there with me. Uh, when we go uh, downtown uh, or wherever I go, he's right there with me all the time.